Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out EVJ's classified SR2 motherboard. And here it is. This is the EVJ classified SR2 or Super Record 2 motherboard. Comes with the Intel 5520 chipset and is SLI and Crossfire X compatible. So let's open this box, have a look at the board itself and see exactly where accessories come with this SR2 killer motherboard. And here is the accessory bundle that comes with the SR2 motherboard. So let's open this up and check what accessories you will receive. With this bundle kit you will receive an assortment of SATA cables, IDE cables and Molex to SATA power adapters, a 4 port USB bracket, standoffs for this motherboard, 3 way SLI bridge, regular SLI bridge and a 4 way SLI bridge. A wire hookup kit for the ECP3 or EVJ control panel 3. Two Xeon CPU 1366 backplates. Now these backplates are included with this kit, so if you want to water cool on the SR2 motherboard, you will need to remove the standard backplates that come on the motherboard and replace them with the socket 1366 items. A rear input output panel shield. Your installation guide. This installation guide does come with an install CD and a case decal and also comes with a note uh, indicating that the ECP3 did not ship out with this particular package but if you register the motherboard when the ECP3 does come available you should receive one typically the mid to end of June. And lastly the EVJ classified pictorial install and overview guide. And here it is. This is the EVJ Classified SR2 or Super Record 2 motherboard. Now, one of the first things you will immediately notice with this motherboard are the two CPU sockets. There's been a great deal of confusion out there as to what CPUs are compatible with this particular motherboard. So just to clear that confusion up, for this board you will need dual QPI socket 1366 Intel Xeon chips from the 5500 or 5600 series CPUs. But to benchmark with this board, we're going to be using two Xeon X5680 Westmere CPUs. Uh, we're going to be putting those in the board and see exactly what this motherboard can do. You will also notice the seven PCIe slots on this board. Now the SR2 does come with two NF200 chips under the Southbridge cooler here, which makes this configuration compatible with SLI, three-way SLI, four-way SLI, and crazy 4-way Crossfire X. To provide maximum stability across the 7 PCIe slots, we have a 6-pin PCIe power hooker. This is there to boost voltage across these slots and is especially useful if you're going to run SLI, 3-way SLI, 4-way SLI or some crazy Crossfire X configuration. At the bottom of the PCIe slot, you have your reset, on off and CMOS reset button. These are great additions to have if you're going to be test benching with this rig outside of a PC case. Unfortunately, if you intend to use 4-way SLI or 4-way Crossfire X and utilize the 7th PCIe slot, these buttons will not be accessible. To use this functionality, you will have to upgrade or utilize EVJ's control panel 3. The SR2 can hold up to 12 DDR3 memory modules with a maximum capacity of 48GB and rated speeds in excess of 1300 and 33MHz. And to power up each socket on the SR2 board, we have an 8-pin ATX 12V power hookup. Next to this, we have a 6-pin PCIe power hookup. It's not necessary to hook up to this unless you're going to be doing extreme overclocking on this motherboard. For the overclocking enthusiast, you have seven PCIe disabled jumpers. These are especially useful for troubleshooting problem cards or 
testing an individual card's overclocking potential without having to remove all the cards from your system. On the rear input output panel we have the following connections. PS2 keyboard and mouse port, USB 2.0 ports, CMOS reset button, EV bot connector, USB 3.0 ports, eSATA ports, USB 2.0 ports, dual LAN ports and our audio input and output jacks. The physical size of EVJ's classified SR2 motherboard is HPTX or High Performance Technology Extended Form Factor. So let's compare the size of this board to the existing classified lineup. And don't forget, if you want to install CPU water blocks on the SR2 motherboard, you will need to change the CPU backlit, remove the standard item that comes on this motherboard, and replace it with the Xeon 1366 CPU backlit that comes with the accessory kit. So let's have a look at some of the other features, as well as what graphics card configurations can be utilized on this motherboard. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware. Or feel free to follow us on Facebook using the following link.